page 10, echo says in G major, W-O-O-23. -O -O One sharp, key of G major. It said it in the title, didn't it? Duh, I need some coffee. Two four times, got a pick up beat or a half a beat. So we're coming in on the end of two. So it's one and two and one. I'm too lazy to count one and a two and a. So I just feel the sixteenth notes. And one and one. It's two sixteenth notes in there. And let's just get the notes, uh, the fingering and all that first. All right. I'll come back and do the articulation, all that other junk later. Just here. Cross over. Reach out. Try and play all of this legato if you can at first. Each time you get this phrase, you can lift up right before. I tend to do it automatically. It's then you're doing it again. Um, let's go down to page 11, third line here. This is going to be a wrist. Do this with a wrist. Top of page 12 here. And then the rest you've already had. Let's look at the left hand. Left hand is accompanying. Keep the left hand soft. This is going to be done with the wrist very lightly. Fourth, there's not a lot going on in the left hand. You get quarter notes over on page 11. Third line down, last measure, it's quarter notes. Play them legato, connect them. I recommend third finger on the F sharp because if you take all these notes, it's a D major chord and that's the fingering for it. So I recommend third, fourth finger on that F sharp. Top of page 12, it's here. the second measure you can do a 2-1 that's why it makes it easier to get to the next measure and it's third finger on that F sharp and then you're back to what you had before put the hands together slowly more. Let's go over on, jump down to the third line on page 11. You're finishing it up, that phrase. Just keep the left hand soft, you'll be fine. Let's look at the top of page 12. You're here. And again, the second measure in the second, in the left hand, I do a 2-1 two, there. Because it makes it easier for me to reach the D. The next one, so it's. And we've had this rest of this before. Once you have that, go back and put, maybe add the articulation, the phrasing, the staccatos, the accents, that stuff. So it's here. Now I disagree with this ed editor. What this editor has done. List of recordings of this. I like it better when I if I put. This is the last measure of the first line. Right hand. They put an accent there. I disagree with that. I think the accent belongs on the E. Here. Go here. And in the second line, second measure, I would accent that dissonant. Typically when you're interpreting pieces and you get a dissonant sound like that, you'll put a little, you'll feel an accent on them. And they just, they come, it just feels that way. Mm -hmm. So the first line. Keep in mind, an echo says is a prankish thing. It's a fun thing. The unexpected. You never know. So be careful. Huh. Now, over on page 11, second line, suddenly they change the staccatos to accents in the second measure. So it's not 
I tend to go ahead and do staccatos. The point is, give them a little extra oomph. It's the last time you're doing this, because you get this over and over and over. It just keeps going over and over and over. Well, a lot of times in music, the last time it happens, they'll change it somehow. And here, it's changed. The accents go away. I mean, the staccatos go away, but the accents come along. You still separate the notes, but now give them a little extra oomph. So it just feels different sounds different, hopefully. So in the second line of the page 11, it's here. Just skip. Rather than. See here, the left hand is legato. Here we got some contrast going on. We still want to hear the right hand though. Page 12, accents. Just separate each of these notes. This is the last measure of the first line in the right hand. Just give them a little extra oomph and separate them. The, the left hand's legato. And you go back to what you were doing before. Get to know it well enough, and it's allegro. You speed it up a little bit, and then when you get it's comfortable with it, and you're not thinking so much about notes and fingering and all that, then add the dynamics. Feel the dynamics. This is soft. This is a light thing. And you come up just a little bit to moderately soft. more to moderately loud. Get the idea? At the top of page 12. And come down to soft like you were at the beginning. And that's the piece. It's a fun piece. It's an echo says. Worth listening and, and learning. I, I, it's a nice piece. It's a fun piece, so have fun with it. That's an order. Yeah. Okay.